Hey everyone, this is Gleb, and today I want to clarify something about sci then command. Sci then receives the subject from the previous command, and then it runs the callback just once. Now, it doesn't mean that the callback itself cannot retry. For example, let's say I have a button, and when I click on the button, after a few seconds, a class is removed. We can get the button and pass it to the sci then callback. We can grab the current class name. We can wrap the jQuery object and click on it. So right now it removes the class name. So all we have to do is to confirm it. So we can say should not have class and just pass the name we grabbed initially. Now notice what happens to the code. It keeps retrying the assertion after clicking on the button. And so once the class is removed, the assertion passes and the sideven callback finishes. So even though sideven executes just once, nothing prevents, for example, an assertion from retrying and retrying based on the current subject. I would refactor this test just a little bit for clarity. For example, getting the class name could be done by just invoking the same adder method with parameter class. And we'll have classes right here. And we need to get the button again, so it's fine to do. But I would try to make your test even more deterministic. Trying to say that a class changes somehow after clicking, it's not really a dependable way of asserting the class behavior. I would work really hard to know the class name that should be there initially and that should not be there after the click. So if we know but the class name is, uh, I think it's initial. Let's look at HTML. Yes, initial. Then we can say that initially the button should have class, class name. And then we click on it and the same button should not have that class name. Okay, retries work and the code is very easy to understand and read. So oftentimes, the complexity of the code is not because the app is complex, it's because you don't know precisely what you're looking for. And once you know what to expect before and after, the test just collapses and becomes very declarative and easy to understand. Find this example and lots more recipes on my site libbachmatov.com slash cypress examples and I will add a link to the description of this video.